Hi, this is my TOK essay breakdown series for November 2022. In these videos, I will be unpacking the key terms and ideas in the title, as well as looking at the question from the perspective of two areas of knowledge. For a more detailed analysis, examples and ideas on how to approach this title using different AOKs and other TOK concepts, please check out my November 2022 essay guides, link in the description. In this video, we'll be looking at title three, which is, is it better to have questions that can't be answered than answers that can't be questioned? Discuss with reference to mathematics and one other area of knowledge. So beginning with our key terms, I have split this into two key phrases from the title. The first one being questions that can't be answered, which I have defined here as implying that we will never be able to adequately explain or understand certain issues or phenomena. The second one, answers that can't be questioned, may refer to truth propositions which cannot be either questioned or doubted, either for the sake of avoiding incoherency or perhaps for more dogmatic motives. If you choose to answer this question, some key points you need to remember include, firstly, consider the different reasons as to why certain answers cannot be questioned. This may range from logical necessity to more nefarious reasons, such as ensuring the dominance of a particular political ideology. Second point here, rather than focusing only on the negatives of the two notions put forward in this title, also think about how each could in certain contexts be considered necessary or even desirable. Finally, given that addressing mathematics is compulsory for this question, for your second AOK you may wish to choose a significantly contrasting one, such as the arts for example. I'm first going to address mathematics given that as I've already said, this is a compulsory one to address for this particular prompt. For the claim, I have put, it is better to have answers that cannot be questioned, as opposed to questions that cannot be answered. The first point I've made on this is that being unable to answer certain mathematical questions could have profoundly negative consequences because although this AOK deals with abstract concepts, such ideas are widely applied across essential fields, meaning that a failure to obtain certain types of mathematical knowledge could impede our progress in everything from medicine to computing. Secondly, certain assumptions in the form of axioms and postulates have to be made for us to build a coherent mathematical system in the first place. Such mathematical truths could in a sense be seen as answers that cannot be questioned and this plays an essential purpose in the wider AOK. So for our counterclaim we might push back against some of these points firstly by saying that even if mathematicians are attempting to deal with unanswerable questions they can still produce useful knowledge in the process. Additionally, one could counter the notion that axioms should be beyond questioning by pointing out that such axioms are suppositions rather than assertions about reality. This is significant because if we cannot assume that mathematical truths model reality, then they should be open to challenge. To conclude, however, we do still need axioms to provide the foundation for a coherent mathematical system. So arguably, overall, in this AOK, it is better to have answers which cannot be questioned. For the second AOK, I have chosen history. For this one, I'm going to argue the opposite and actually claim that it's better to have questions that cannot be answered as opposed to accepting answers that cannot be questioned. 
So first reason I have given here is the ability to challenge and correct existing knowledge is fundamental to this AOK, -okay, as the idea that historians cannot challenge certain statements of historical truth would run completely contrary to the self-correcting nature of historical inquiry. Also, classifying certain historical knowledge claims as unquestionable could lead to dangerous precedents. In a political context, for example, governments may employ unquestionable historical truths in order to push a particular historical political narrative, which can then be used to suppress dissent and conflicting opinions. For the counterclaim, we might once again push back against this by saying it does not make sense to question the most basic and least disputable historical truth claims. Moreover, in certain contexts, historians being unable to answer crucial questions could have devastating implications. For instance, in the investigation of war crimes and other past atrocities. Bring these ideas together in the mini conclusion, we might say both have problematic implications in some sense, though perhaps on balance it's better that we have answers that can't be questioned, though maybe only in the cases in which such answers are virtually indisputable. For essay guides and personal feedback, feel free to check out my website, tokessayhelp.com. I hope you found this video useful, and many thanks for watching.